all of those are my measurements. This is my part with Legos, this is my baseboard, this is how everything divides into the magic number 64 millimeters. I'm working with materials which are in inches, but the project is in millimeters. So it makes things very interesting. Every distance between every of those lines is a multiple of 64 millimeters. This entire project is built to accommodate Lego platforms, the green platforms with buttons. And a platform is 256 millimeters. So we have 64 millimeters, 64 millimeters, 64 millimeters, and 64 millimeters. I ended up buying a bunch of stuff from the MacMaster car catalog. And I forgot that they have a tendency to ship every item independently and charge you for the UPS overnight ground shipping every time. So it got quite expensive. I didn't really show the unpacking process because it doesn't interest me. I got an M4 nylon threaded rod because I'm trying to not use metal in this project. This is so I can machine this part when I decide to machine it. Right now I don't have money to machine it and I think Lego is precise enough. Much more precise than this part. This part is crap. I didn't know it would have scratches. I didn't know it would have those waves. When I ordered this half inch by three inch four foot bar of high molecular weight polyethylene from McMaster car catalog, I expected it to be smooth. Like at least this smooth. Like this construction material PVC lumber. Why does it even have all this crap on the side? What am I supposed to do with it? Probably the most expensive purchase in, in this project. And right now I feel like it's also the most useless project. Pretty much I ran out of money.